Hey guys, what is up? It's Alex again, and today I'm gonna share with you how to set up the secret pin code on your tailgate to be able to get into your car without the key fob. So this is great in examples where maybe your key fob is dead, maybe you lose your key fob, or maybe you're going hiking and you want to put your key fob inside of the car uh, so that way you don't have to have your keys on you. So this will allow you to get into the car with the secret pin code. So this is a follow-up from my last video on the top five hidden features on the Subaru Outback. A lot of people highly requested for me to cover the secret pin code because of all things that is probably the most uncommon and the most hidden. Uh, so I wanted to cover that in today's video and show you guys how to do that because I think it is a really unique feature. So as far as I know, you can do this on newer Subaru models. This one in particular is a 2021 Subaru Outback, but it doesn't have to be an Outback. You can do it on a Forester, a Crosstrek, an Ascent, maybe even the Legacy. If you guys know that one, leave it down in the comment section below. And obviously, of course, your 2021 and 2022 models, this would apply as well. And I think I've read online that some older models have this feature, but I haven't tested it because we don't have any of the older models right now for me to test it out on. So if you guys know that, leave it down in the comment section below. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to post weekly videos on Subaru related content. So if you enjoy that, please consider clicking that subscribe button and click the like button also if you get value out of this video. So let's start with locating your secret button. So what you wanna do is go ahead and open the hatch. I feel like it's easier to show it this way. So right here on the hatch, you have this little button. That is the secret pin code button that we're gonna be using today. You also have the button right here. This little rubber button is what you use to unlock the tailgate in normal use. So now we're gonna... So you guys missed this off camera, but I just dropped the key right here, fell out of my pocket right next to this drain. So it almost went inside there. So luckily that didn't happen because these keys are not cheap. So during editing, I realized I missed out an essential part if you do have an Outback. The Outback has a Subaru logo right here that works as a sensor to actually automatically open the power tailgate if it's equipped on your car. So before you go to set this up, you're going to want to go to the front of the car. Up here in the driver's side, there's a button. You click this little button in and that will turn that sensor feature off so that way it's not active while you're setting this up. So before you guys set this up and use it out in your daily lives, make sure that you feel comfortable with the, the pin code that you've set, that you've tested it out a few times with the key in sleep mode or far away from the car. So that way you know confidently that it works for you. You definitely don't wanna be out somewhere and locked out of your car. Let's go ahead and lock the car. You don't have to set the alarm, but I am here. You can set the alarm or not. It just has to be locked. And then you're gonna go over here. You'll wanna do it from the right passenger side because you'll be able to hear the beeping that's coming from the front of the car much easier from the right side of the car than you can from the left. Also, whenever the car unlocks, it also unlocks the gas door. So you'll be able to hear the unlock much easier on this side as well than you would on that side. So just something to note, it's much easier there. If you do wanna set this up next to a wall, it kind of echoes, so it does increase the sound there as well. So once it starts beeping, you'll have about 30 seconds to click the unlock button, which then will allow you to proceed with putting in a five digit pin. Today, we're going to do a simple pin. It's gonna be one, two, one, two, one. So I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple and easy to do. It's just a matter of knowing how to do it. Here's an up close to show you how this sequence works. So obviously there's not a five digit keypad or anything here, it's just one button. So how does that look? How does that work? So one is just one click, two is just two clicks. You can do one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever you want. I think one and twos are easiest because it requires less clicking. In between each click, you'll hear a beep from the front of the car. So you'll do one, you'll hear a beep from the front of the car, two, hear a beep from the front of the car, and that's how you know that you've entered a number in. I'll show you how this works now with setting it up. So we have our key right here. We click and hold the lock button at the top, and then we click and hold this button right here, the pin code button. So you have to hold it for a few seconds, but you'll hear it beeping just like this. 
So now that it's beeping, we're going to click the unlock button right here, the Subaru logo. So now it stops beeping and we proceed with our code. So we're gonna do one, so it's just single click. You hear a beep. Two, two clicks. You hear a beep. One, you hear a beep. Two, you hear a beep again. One. So now it's beeping again. So what we have to do to confirm that pin while it's beeping, go ahead and input the pin again. So we click it once, two, one, two, one, and you hear it unlock. So that is how you set up your pin. So now we're gonna simulate what this would be like if you were to lock your key inside of your car or simply you lose your key. Well, in order to do that, you wanna deactivate the keyless access sensor. So in order to, the, to deactivate the proximity sensor with the connection with your car, you just click on your uh, lock button and then you double click your unlock button. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So in order to put your key fob in what they call sleep mode, you will click this button and then double click the Subaru logo. So that's the lock button and the unlock button. So we're gonna click, double click, and that flashes four times to let you know it is in sleep mode. So now I've got my key fob in my pocket here. I go up to the car, it's locked. It's not letting me in. So in this case, you either don't have your key or you've locked your key inside because you're going hiking or kayaking or whatever, and you don't wanna have the key in your pocket. So now we're gonna go around to the back of the car and we're gonna put our five digit pin in. So I'll show you guys from this angle. One, two, one. And there you go. So now it is unlocked. So you're able to do that without the key fob. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's how you set your Subaru secret pin code. Now you can go show off to your friends because I guarantee you 90% of them don't even know that exists. So uh, I probably wouldn't use the same five digit code that I used, but maybe you could find something else that's easy to remember like a birthday or something like that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. As always, I appreciate it if you smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next one.